I should check the for river. I should learn that. What kind of song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. Is that? It is too. What is that? Hold on, I'm gonna read it. That's not right. No, it's that. It, no, it doesn't, near the end. Goes... Okay, I want to learn that song now. Act 3. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses, and at me. Let's go. What are we doing? Oh, hello. Wow, okay. That's right, I've already processed that one. To think that this little thing's causing us so much trouble. I just want to kick it to outer space. I suppose all we can do now is to send the signal and hope. Well, ready? Something's happening. Quick, send it again. What's going on? Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over for me, Lily. His condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigurated. What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out. What? Get out of his memory. Now. What are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage who's ev whoever's in here. You've got to be kidding me. Why aren't you getting out then? I can't, Neil. If both of us get out under this state, all our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny... Oh, you freaking... Don't pull that contrived crap on me. This ain't a movie and you're no hero. You're just being a moron. Whoa. Then why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here. Screw that, if you're gone they'll probably pair me up with Alastair. Do you know how badly he smells? Worse than the roadkill. Damn it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat through the entrance exams. Oh, thank God. Doctor? I think we're okay for now. And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks. Wait a minute. Yeah, and at the last Christmas party you... Oh. Come on. Let's go before that happens again. Um, you know that I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? Here goes nothing. Go, 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 get in there. There's the bowl. Yes! Wow, I can't believe that worked. So we actually made it. But now I'm not sure if I'm going to like this place. What do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. 
Neil, did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? Uh, what? There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? I... I suppose not. Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. I didn't see anything. I'll have to have a look later. Or maybe it'll tell us. Where is Johnny? He's out there. Wow, that sounds fabulous. I know, right? You've got to take them there one day. Here he is. Oh, no, there he is, there. Sheesh, the time overlap's getting out of hand. It looks like the ball's moving around on its own and he's just chasing it. Look at how many of him are there. It's like a zoo. Mm-hmm. Great. I guess I'll be following... Oh, hello. All thanks to this little fella's sacrifice. I hope. So that could be our memento for the next one. And I saw one of them down here. Oh. Okay. Oh, jeez. Look at the time. I better get going. The store closes early today. I'll take care, Martha. Say hello to the boys for me. I will. I'll see you around. Well, this is the end of the road. And you were saying? Never mind that. Maybe I was wrong after all. I mean, this place... It's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be... Shit. Duh. We need to go back. Now. Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come. That's what she said. I'm sorry. Hey, all I hear in my ears is pounding of da 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 Oh and he runs in front of it. No! Oh. I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this here when he never did? Still, I'm just surprised that he survived. Actually, he didn't. Uh, what? Didn't you see it in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Joey! <gasps> Twin! Joey, can you hear me? Joey? Why did you hit Joey, Ma? Why did you hit him? Joey, wake up, Joey! Wake up! Joey. Even though they were young, to lose a twin brother, not to mention how their mother must feel. At least Johnny had the beta blockers erased in this memory. Not like he remembers it much. Fuzzily unlinked, not erased. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took the beta blockers. She seems to have gone a little cuckoo. 
At least, I don't really think she called Johnny Joey as a nickname. But if she ta then takes Johnny for Joey, what about Johnny himself? I don't like it here, let's move on. So the mother thought Johnny was Joey? Is that it? move on where do we go back into the house maybe the car I'm under a car that's logical um, <clears throat> the soccer ball I can't touch the soccer ball that's why there's two of everything So the soccer ball wasn't Johnny's, it was Joey's. Uh, maybe I gotta check the people. Oh, received note, Joey. Seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Odd. It's not putting up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it. <coughs> eh. Froggy Mithrit. Dude, you should totally give this series a try. I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome. I've already ploughed through three books straight. What's it called? Animorphs. Oh. It's about this group of kids turning into animals to fight mind-controlling slugs. Meh. I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great. Instead of going to boring school, they get to turn into tigers and more big bad aliens. They're all like, raw, 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 raw. And then they pick up lasers, and it's all pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. pew. Stop that. <laughs> Just watch, Johnny. One day, I'm going to be a famous writer. I'll write the coolest novel on the block, and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich, and buy both you and Ma really big houses. How would you get rich if you give away the books for free? Free for the kids. The parents still have to pay, of course. Yeah, I'm sure the parents be thrilled to give you money. What, you're still mad about the other day? Oh, come on. I called first dibs on the train fair and square. What happened to your prize anyway? I gave it away. To a hobo? Look, it's not just about that day. You know Ma always favoured you. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And last Easter, and the time we went fishing? And, okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yep. I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll just get me another one, right? Oh, you dick. Listen, Johnny, what difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours, too. I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, come on, you're my twin brother, dude. You're like a part of me. Oi, let's go confuse the neighbours. Wait, in the rain? Yes, in the rain, come on. Receive note, Animorphs. Okay, hello. Not enough memory. What the fuck? I'm thinking that Johnny is actually Joey. I'm just making that prediction. I'm sorry, but that's what I'm thinking. I'm probably completely wrong, but yeah. Some kind of carnival, huh? Shall we look around? How about I look around and you just stand here? 
How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? Quit blabbering and go already. Aw, oh, you ruined it. Fruits! Fresh fruits! Apples, oranges, and tomatoes! We got it all! Wait a minute. Tomatoes aren't fruits. Uh, yeah they are. They are the ovaries of the plant and contain seeds. That's what a fruit is. But come on, tomatoes? We never ever refer them to as to them as fruits. We who? I happen to enjoy cooking in groups, okay? Some of us take it very seriously. There's John. But I don't want this stupid toy. I want the train. That's the only train left. Do you want to exchange your prize for a teddy bear instead? No, I just want the train. Now, now, John, don't make a scene. Joey won it fair and square, didn't he? But I won too. He just went first. <laughs> it's okay. I'll let you play with it too. See how nice your brother is, Johnny? Okay, you dumplings, don't block the stand now. Come, let's go see what's over there. I'm not a dumpling. You know what? I'm going to call you dumpling from now on. You're bluffing. Hey, is that whack-a-mole? Whack-a-what? Whack-a-mole. You take a mallet and whack moles. Isn't that animal abuse? They're fake moles, butthead. It's how people blew off steam before FPS was <laughs> were invented. How primitive. Yeah, it's pretty ghetto. Where'd you read about it? My grandpa was a fan. Wanna play? Just hit everything on the head and you win. Yes, 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 yes! Uh... Yeah, sure, let's play. Uh... We shall use the mouse. I'm so glad we get to play Whack-A-Mole. Okay, go. Damn it. I want the train. Ah! I missed one. Let's see now. Out of 44 total target appearances, you struck 49 times and made 44 successful hits. I hit all 44. That's a 100% hit rate. It's your new record. Oh, that's awesome. I got a 100%. I win. I rule. Ah, yes. Fortunes of wonder are ahead of you. This one might just become a lawyer, and this one, a doctor. Oh my! Come on, I'm getting both of your treats. H hey, where's my tip? Shall we get... No way, I ain't talking to her. Good or bad, I'd be screwed either way. So I'm just following them through the fair. Did they go here? No. Nope. Where are they? Where'd they go? They went this way, didn't they? And I managed to lose them. What is that? Quite three. Oh god, okay. Welcome and behold, the world's smallest Ferris wheel. Can we ride it? Absolutely not. Does it even work? Absolutely not. Looks like someone just glued some chairs to a water wheel. Don't know, don't care. There we go, now I can move on. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I got one. There they are. Mm-hmm. I can never understand you, Joey. How can you stand the taste of them? They're just so sour and icky. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Just try it. No, I don't even want to taste regular olives. You should try at least one, Johnny. Who knows, maybe you'll like it. Yeah! Nah. 
I'm done though. Can I go play? Okay, but only at the playground and not an inch too far. Just leave that bag. I'll keep it for you. No, it's mine. I want it. Receive note, pickled olives. So she go follow the kid. The, my suspicion is being more proved every second in this game. I swear. So what happens at the playground? Where's he going? Way to follow mum's orders, huh? Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Wow. Whoa. Well, okay, so he wandered off the trail and found a cool place. But let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. It was just an expression. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. Yeah? There was a hill outside of the city that we'd stay at. The same one every year. We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Well, I did, mostly. He just carried the telescope for me. Of course. The thing was, though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping and hid the telescope inside the car. That's all good, but when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend like I'd actually slept. So in conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. You're terrible. I know. It's a shame, though. All these nice memories, lost and never found. And who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it moment from moment, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit! I told you packs of tigers... I told you packs of tigers dwell here. Tigers. Twigers, that's a new word. Oh, God, it's the Twigers. <laughs> the mother? River. It's River! <gasps> I understand now. Not really, but yeah. Hello! Wait, don't go. I'm Johnny. What's your name? You're at my spot. Your spot? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to t hog this place all to myself. Um, you want to join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? I get it. This is where they met. Just look at him. Did 
Did you know that there were so many lights in the sky? Yes. Oh, uh, I did too. You said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds. Me neither. You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? They say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Uh, okay then. Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everyone in the world, nearly everyone's named John. Even in India? Probably. What's wrong with that? Hmm? What's wrong with having a name that everyone else has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once, to have the same name everyone else has. It's like there's lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. Uh, I suppose. What do you think those stars up there are anyways? My dad said they're giant burning spheres of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do. They make things up. Santa, Easter Bunny, kangaroos, stuff like that. Wait, kangaroos are real. Fuck you, John. Have you ever made an Easter Bunny out of stars? Like a constellation? Yes. Um, of other things. Never tried a rabbit, though. Do you want to make one? Yeah, we'll make the bestest constellation ever. Let's see. Who makes the one out first? Okay, we'll start in three. Three, two, one, and st I see it. Uh, where? In the sky. Um, but where in the sky? Think big. Uh, bigger than all the others. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see it. Tell me what you see. There, right? There the two ears and the head. What else? And there, there's its two feet. Yes, what else? And, and the moon. The moon is its big round belly. I don't see it. Oh, I, yes I do. Never mind. I think I saw it. I'm probably completely wrong. Yeah, I forgot that was clipped anyway. So, what do you think they really are? The stars, I mean. I... I've never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses, stuck at the far end of the sky. Wow, it must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there, and they want to talk to them. But they can't, because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying. All they can do is shine their lights from afar. So that's what they do. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses, and at me. Why you? Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. That bag? What's in it? Oh, it's the prize I won from Whack-A-Mole. Did you get to play that game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. What did you get from it? I got a... thing. I don't really know what it is. It's some kind of a weird duck, beaver thing. Oh, it's the stuffed platypus. 
May I see it? It looks so strange. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny! Eek, that's Ma calling. Here. You know what? Keep it, it's yours. Mine? Yeah, I can always get another. I don't like to brag, but I'm totally the best at that game. Will you be here next year? Yep, will you? Yes. Same place, same time? Yes. What if you forget or get lost? Then we can always regroup on the moon, silly. Right on the rabbit's tummy. Johnny! Coming! Oh yeah, I forgot my hacky sack in the bag. You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. That was so fucking cute, I almost cried. Oh my god. I must seem so lame right now, but Jesus Christ. Oh. If they ever get lost? Wait, does that mean... Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. And here I thought this was going to be an inspirational childhood dream story. I should have known that some girl would come along and turn it into a cheese fest. I suppose now we know what we must do to send him to the moon. Wait, you aren't actually going to do it, are you? It's our job, Neil. It's what we are contracted to do. Damn it, Eva, wait! Eva. Adorable, but now it's going to go dark again. Hmm.